Okay, welcome to this special tutorial. Today we'll be looking at polynomial function. So under polynomial function, we're going to identify polynomial function and their degree, identify the zeros of a polynomial function and their multiplicity, identify a power function, analyze the graph of a polynomial fu function, divide polynomials, use the remainder and factor theorems. Use Descartes' rule of sign to determine the number of positive and negative real zeros of, a zeros of a polynomial function. Use the rational zero theorem to list the potential rational zeros of a polynomial function. Use the upper and the lower bounds theorem and factor a polynomial completely. So let's look at the first one, which is ability to identify. So we're going to identify a polynomial. So a polynomial function is a function of the form this. That is the one highlighted in, in green. Where a subscript n, n minus 1, n minus 2 to, uh, to 0 are real numbers. So the coefficients must be real number, not complex number. And the highest power, which is n, must be a positive integer. That is from 0 up. So the degree of any polynomial function is the highest power of x that appears. So the highest power is the degree. So look at this first, look at this table. If you, note that, if you look down, you will see fx, that is the first one, the degree is 0. Because what we have is a constant, a, a, a subscript 0, which could be written as a subscript 0, x raised to power 0. So I'm saying that a0 could be written as a0 x raised to power that. So what is the degree, the highest power, which is 0? So the, the degree is 0. But if it's just a constant that is 0, is we have no degree. What of this, the third row? As you can see, the highest degree is 1. So the highest power is 1, the degree is 1. The second one, quadratic, which is... 2 power 2 so the degree is 2 so this the these are the names zero function that's for a constant that is zero constant function for any other cost constant that is not zero linear function and finally the quadratic function so look at this example as determine which of the following are polynomial functions for those that are state the degree for those that are not there why not so we are going to so the first one is a polynomial function because the highest power is four yes as you can see the coefficients are cost are real numbers so it's yes is a polynomial function and the degree the degree is four because the highest power is 4. Why the second one is not a polynomial? Because this is gs equal to g of x equal to 4 minus. We can write square root x as x raised to power half. In this case, half is not an integer. So not a polynomial. Because the highest power is not an integer. The c part I have hs equal to x squared plus 5 over x minus 1. This is no, not a polynomial. It's called a rational function. So not a polynomial function because we are dividing a polynomial. But if you notice, the numerator is a polynomial by another polynomial, so which is not also one of the conditions for a function to be a polynomial the d part is a polynomial yes because we can express we can expand we can still expand this as minus 4x times x squared plus yes plus 9 so which is minus 4x cubed minus 24x squared minus 36x 
So here the highest power is 3. So degree is equal to 3 because the highest power is 3. Why the last one is also a polynomial? Is a, if you could remember in the table, is a polynomial, but the degree, a polynomial. But since it's a constant that is zero, we have no degree. It's a polynomial, but no degree. If it's a constant that is not zero, zero degree. Yes, but since it's zero, no degree, as you can see in the table, you see, so it's a zero function, no degree.